Hi everyone, I'm Madison from Sleepopolis and today I'm gonna to be doing a roundup of all six Helix Lux mattresses. Helix offers a ton of different mattresses, so if you're overwhelmed choosing between them, you're in the right place. So Helix Lux is Helix's luxury mattress line. Helix offers six standard hybrid mattresses and six luxury mattresses, plus one organic mattress called the Birch and one mattress designed specifically for heavy people called the Helix Plus. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about all six of Helix's luxury mattresses. If you wanna read a more detailed review of any of these beds or find some discount codes, check out the links in the description below. All right, let's kick it off by talking about what makes these beds similar. Helix's six Lux beds are constructed very similarly. In fact, you can actually think of this collection sort of as one luxury hybrid mattress that's offered in six completely different firmness levels. So to help you get your head around that, I'm gonna take you through the construction layer by layer. First up, before we start, every Lux model is 12 inches tall. Next up, every Lux model uses a breathable tensile cover. Tensile is an eco-friendly material that's really great for hot sleepers. And the color on the cover right here is gonna change depending on which mattress you buy, but otherwise, cover, totally the same. To me, it feels thick, but also nice and breathable. Next up below that cover is a quilted pillow top layer. And depending on the model you choose, this layer will be made of either gel visco foam, which feels similar to memory foam and has a cooling gel infusion, memory plus foam, which is Helix's version of memory foam, or Helix Dynamic Foam, which is a latex alternative foam by Helix. And I'll say depending on the model you choose, this layer will have a firmer or softer feel to give you the feel you've chosen but across the board, it's gonna offer some nice pressure relief, a little bit of body contouring. And below that is gonna be the comfort layer. Again, depending on your mattress, it will be made of memory plus foam, which feels like memory foam, gel visco foam, which has a cooling memory foam feel, or Helix Dynamic Foam, which is a latex alternative with a bouncy feel. The foam in this comfort layer is gonna really determine, again, the firmness of your bed and whether you're sinking into it more or feeling like you get more bounce from the bed. And below that is gonna be a contour layer made of high-grade polyfoam. This layer will appear in every single Helix mattress in the line, and it just helps ease you down onto the pocketed coil layer below that. And the bulk of all of these beds is made up of zoned pocketed coils that feel firmer around your hips where you need more support and softer around your shoulders where you need a little bit of pressure relief. These coils might be firmer or softer depending on which model you choose, but they'll be structured the exact same way across the board. And I do wanna take a second here to mention that all of these Helix Lux models are nice and cooling thanks to that pocketed coil layer and the cooling covers. And then I'll say rounding out the construction of these beds is a thin base layer of Durodense foam. It's basically high density poly foam. It's the same in every model and it's just gonna give all those tall coils something to bounce off of. So I also wanna take a second here to say another similarity that all of these mattresses have is reinforced edges. When I tested them out, for the most part, they all had a really great edge support. Essentially, that means you'll be able to sit or lie all the way on the edge of one of these beds and still feel nice and stable. The softest models, the Helix Sunset Lux and the Helix Moonlight Lux, had slightly weaker edges, but that's pretty expected because they use more pliable foams in their top layers to get that really nice soft feel. Edge support is a great indicator of mattress quality, and I think that the edge support really can indicate how durable a mattress is. So these are definitely luxury beds. They're made of really high quality materials. And I think all of these beds are probably gonna last you between seven and 10 years. But keep in mind here, you need to take care of your mattress to extend its lifespan. In the case of the Helix Lux line, that means you should make sure you place them on a flat supportive base. You don't need a box spring, but you can use one if you would like. Okay, so now you know what makes all of these beds similar, but what makes them different? In my opinion, that all comes down to how they feel. These beds all feel pretty different, so I'm actually gonna take you through each one, starting with the softest model and moving on to the firmest model to give you an idea of what sleeping on each of these beds might be like. So I'll kick things off with the Helix Sunset. 
I gave this bed a 5.5 out of 10 on the mattress firmness scale. For reference, the industry standard for a medium firm mattress is a 6.5, so that means the Helix Sunset Lux is a soft mattress. The Sunset does have a memory foam comfort layer, so when you hop into bed, you're gonna feel a great body contouring hug. And that memory foam is pretty responsive for memory foam, but I would say if you're a combination sleeper who likes a ton of responsiveness, I would go for the Moonlight, which I'm gonna talk about next. So overall, laying on the Sunset, I would say I felt great, really comfortable, plenty of pressure relief on my side and my back. On my stomach, the bed did feel a little bit too soft, so I would avoid the Sunset if you're a stomach sleeper. I think it'll cause you some back pain over time. Then I'll also say that the Sunset did have fairly average motion transfer, which essentially means that if you share your bed with a partner, when they toss and turn at night, you probably won't feel those small movements, but if they're getting in and out of bed while you're asleep, you might feel a bit disturbed by that. So to recap the Helix Sunset, if you are a side sleeper or someone who likes a soft memory foam feel, but you don't wanna to feel totally swallowed up by your bed, I think the Helix Sunset Lux is a great option for you. So next up is the Helix Moonlight mattress. I also gave this bed a 5.5 out of 10 on the mattress firmness scale, which means it is a soft mattress. But this Helix uses the dynamic foam in its comfort layer, so you don't feel like you're sinking into the mattress as much as you do on the Sunset Lux. So I'm a really big fan of this feel for combination sleepers. If you're a combination sleeper who really likes a soft feel but doesn't like to be stuck in bed so you can change positions easily, this mattress is a really great fit for you. On my side and back, I felt a great amount of pressure relief and plenty of support. On my stomach, again, this mattress was a bit too soft for me. I could feel my hips sinking into that top foam, creating a bend in my back. And then moving on to talk a little bit about motion transfer, I would say, again, about average motion transfers. So to recap this bed really quickly, if you're a side sleeper or a combination sleeper who likes a soft feel, I would opt for the Moonlight Lux mattress if you're choosing a Helix Lux. Next up on my list is the Helix Midnight. I gave this bed a 6.5 out of 10, which means it is a medium firm mattress. This mattress uses memory foam in its top layer, so it gives you a nice, body contouring, hug-like feel when you lay down on it. Running through those sleep positions again, on my back, this was my favorite position on the mattress. I felt plenty of support, but a ton of great pressure relief as those soft foams filled in my lumbar region. On my side, I was also pretty comfortable, but if you're a side sleeper who likes a super plush feel, you might wanna stick with the moonlight or the sunset. And then like the other two mattresses on my stomach, this mattress was just a bit too soft. I'll say this mattress also had decent motion isolation. Again, you're not gonna feel small movements from a partner. And I do think this mattress might do a good job helping to isolate some of those larger movements from a partner as well. And because it has nice reinforced edges and a pretty universal comfort layer, couples might really like this Helix Midnight Luxe mattress. So quick recap of the Helix Midnight Lux. If you are a back sleeper or a member of a couple, I would say this is the Lux mattress for you. So next up is the Helix Dusk mattress. I also gave this mattress a 6.5 out of 10. So it is a medium firm mattress. I do think it felt a little bit firmer than the Midnight because it uses a dynamic foam top layer. So it feels super springy and really you feel much more on top of this bed than you do on any other Helix Lux mattress. So if you're a combination sleeper, I think this is probably the mattress for you if you like a medium firm feel. Running through those sleep positions, I felt great on my back, a great balance of pressure relief and support. On my side, I would say it was a little bit firm for me on my side and on my stomach, it felt a little soft. But if you're a combination sleeper who only spends part of the night on your stomach or part of the night on your side, I think this mattress will be really comfortable for you. And motion transfer wise, I would say this is one of the bouncier Helix Lux mattresses. So if you do sleep with a partner, you might feel a little bit disturbed by their motion overnight. So to quickly recap the dusk, if you're a combination sleeper, I really think this mattress is the sweet spot in the Helix Lux line for you. It is super responsive, super easy to move around on. And if you're a back sleeper who likes a springier feel, I think this could be a good option for you as well. And next up is the Helix Twilight mattress. I also gave this mattress a 6.5 out of 10. So that is a medium firm score. Helix does market this mattress as one of its two firmer beds, but the Twilight actually felt a little bit softer to me than the Midnight and the Dusk mattress. And I actually think it felt a little softer than these medium firm beds because it uses gel visco foam in its pillow top layer instead of the latex alternative foam the dust uses or the memory foam that the midnight uses and to me personally 
The gel visco feels a little bit softer, so all of these beds are medium firm. They're definitely all really supportive. But the twilight, when you initially lay down, you might feel a bit more initial pressure relief, followed by potentially a little firmer support than you would get on the midnight or the dusk. So running through those sleep positions one more time on my back and my side, I actually felt really comfortable on this bed. If you are a side sleeper, this bed was designed for you, so I wouldn't shy away from it because it's more firm. If you're someone who sleeps on their side and likes a lot of support, I think this mattress is a really great option. Rolling onto my stomach, I did feel that this bed was a little bit too soft for stomach sleepers. I could feel my hips sinking into that top foam a little bit. The motion transfer on this bed, about average, maybe a little high. So if you sleep with a partner and you're a super light sleeper, this is not the bed for you. So to quickly recap the Twilight Luxe mattress side and back sleepers, I think this is the mattress for you. If you're a combo sleeper who alternates between your side and your back, I think this is also a great option. Either way, you should feel a really nice amount of support and a really nice amount of pressure relief in both of those sleeping positions. And rounding out my list, we have the Helix Dawn Luxe mattress. I gave this mattress a seven out of 10 on the mattress firmness scale, which means it is a firm mattress. If you're a combination sleeper who likes a firm feel, I think this is the Helix Luxe mattress for you. It uses that dynamic foam in the comfort layer, so it has a super responsive, bouncy feel. Running through those sleep positions on my back, I felt good. I felt plenty of support. On my side, I would say it feels all right. Maybe if you're a combination side sleeper, only spend part of the night on your side, it could be okay, but it definitely was a little firm for me in that position. And then moving on to my stomach, I felt pretty good on my stomach personally. I think someone who's a bit heavier than I am would actually find the Helix Dawn Lux a little too soft on their stomach. If you're someone who spends only part of the night on your stomach, I think the Helix Dawn could work for you. I'll say if you're a really strict stomach sleeper who weighs a bit more than me, I would actually opt for the standard Helix Dawn model, which feels firmer than the Dawn Lux model because it doesn't have that pillow top layer. Motion transfer on the Dawn Lux was pretty high because it uses that bouncy dynamic foam. So if you sleep with a partner or a pet and you're easily disturbed at night, it might not be the best mattress for you. So to recap, the Helix Dawn Lux, I would say if you are a combination sleeper who likes a really springy, firmer feel, or a back sleeper who likes a firmer feel, you should definitely go with the Helix Dawn Lux model. Whew, that was a ton of info. Based on that, let me leave you with a few final recommendations because I think almost any sleeper should be able to find a Helix Lux model that works for them. If you're a side sleeper, the Helix Sunset, Helix Moonlight, and Helix Midnight are probably your best bets. Back sleepers will probably like the Midnight, the Dusk, or the Twilight Lux mattresses best, but these folks could be happy on pretty much any bed in the Helix Lux line. And stomach sleepers, I would say you should stick to the Helix Dawn Lux to get the support you need, or go with a standard Helix model to get an even firmer feel. If you're somebody who hates the feel of body contouring, no body contouring at all for you, I would personally suggest you opt for a standard Helix mattress instead of a Helix Lux mattress because all the Lux mattresses do have that body contouring pillow top layer that personally I really like. I think it's cushioning, pressure relieving, everything that I wanna see in a mattress. So that pretty much wraps up my review. If you are interested in purchasing one of the Helix Lux mattresses, I will take a minute here to give you some info on Helix's company policies. First up, these beds all come with a 100 night sleep trial and they will ship for free and arrive compressed in a box. They are a little heavy, so make sure you have a friend on hand to help you unbox this mattress. And then finally, all of these beds come with a 15 year warranty, which is a great sign that they're gonna last you a really long time. Okay, that is all from me. If there's anything I didn't cover, let me know in the comments below and check out our Helix Lux Mattress Hub by clicking the link in the description. Remember to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our new reviews or giveaway announcements. And as always, remember to head over to sleepopolis.com for any of your sleep needs.